Hello, this is Bug News, and we got some breaking news. Um, if you haven't heard, Karen Huger allegedly um, was in a car accident. Um, in addition to that, she received several citations. Several. Uh, now, what wasn't discussed is, hmm, that's interesting. So, she was in a car accident. Unfortunately, she uh, went to the hospital, allegedly. She um, received several, several fines. But, one of the citations, like I said, it's still alleged. It hasn't, it's been confirmed, but not confirmed, confirmed. We're not going to um, put all the info or intel out there. Uh, but she may have, have may have obtained a second DUI. What will this mean for Karen Huger? Well, let's, for one thing, if it's a second DUI, I don't, I, I don't know how many years has passed since the first DUI. But if it's a second DUI, if you remember Leon Harris. He, um, Leon Harris was a CNN reporter, also a local uh, TV, TV reporter, a news anchor in the D.C. area. He had to do some jail time. In addition to doing jail time uh, in, in the state of Maryland, when you get the DUI, well, let's not even talk about jail time. Let's just let's talk about some other things. So if we use she's going to have to you know take the DUI classes I don't know how many she's going to go back to DUI training if this is true she's going to have to drive with the interlock for at least if in the case of Leon Harris he was given three years now what we don't know with this this situation we don't know if her, she was in the legal limit but <clears throat> fortunately she didn't hurt anyone and fortunately she she was probably released from the hospital in that aspect um, based on the arresting officer's location for what I'm looking at uh, she was um, he's stationed out of Rugby Ave so that's downtown Bethesda so um, Oakland Drive at Beeman Woods Way is kind of where the incident happened um, <clears throat> I don't know if that's so so it's either there or she was in Shady Grove Hospital for those some of you don't know the area but I know the area pretty well um, but mm, it's, I'm surprised nobody didn't point this out unless this just, was just released and I got lucky here at bug news but so we went over that she probably have to get the interlock for a long period of time she'll probably have to do jail time she may not have to do jail time depending on the circumstances but she high profile so you know they're gonna stick their time on her unless she got a good lawyer well so prior to going to court so what she'll probably have to do most people most lawyers advise a person and I'm not giving a legal advice uh, most lawyers advise a person you take your classes and things before you go to court so the judge can see that you're serious um, I don't know if Karen here is a community person or not I don't know how much clout Ray has uh, but this is the second DUI in the state of Maryland. This is a, you know, they just kind of like, oh, okay, hmm, interesting. And I don't know how far away, how long ago she had the first DUI. I mean, I think at the time she got the first DUI, the laws was kind of different. Um, but they, they don't make you, they're going to make you get the interlock, which is basically overcharged and also should be supplemented in my personal opinion. And then if that she gets, if she gets on probation, she's going to have to pay, um, a probation fee or pay for a probation as if she gets probation and then she could get she can get jail time and and still do probation and we don't know how much jail time so they can work the jail time out when she go on the weekends but who, who want to be doing that you know and then who want to be on probation um, now some of us may say, well, wow, that's kind of sad, but the, I mean, don't she, Karen have the resources for the Uber Lyft? I could see if it was, you know, just average person and people, you know, saying Uber Lyft prices are high, 
but you know they say you know if you do get a DUI and a training what have you supposed to plan uh, your event so and by that that means you know try not to drink and drive you know don't don't drink um, but on the drinker side if you're trying not to drink trying to blend in they most bars don't have non-alcoholic beers and non-alcoholic uh, uh, beverages on the menu they, you know hey this drink is a drink and it doesn't have any alcohol because you know so that times you go out and you being social so knows the social scene although uh, uh, in that aspect and we don't know where she was coming from we don't know the circumstances because sometimes you have a circumstance you've been drinking in the house you have to get somewhere and unfortunately you get an accident so all this may be discussed when when was it be discussed at the court hearing it's gonna be a pack 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 unless unless they have some way of of uh making it private but everybody knows on the traffic case everybody up in that joint <laughs> so will this make will this make real housewives of Potomac? Mm-hmm. i don't know i don't know if they're filming but unfortunately um uh, people gonna be watching this is like a national name on on a uh, on a D celebrity list, you know, halfway through the alphabet celebrity list on the lower end. But people are gonna be watching. People start asking questions for you know why why this why that why would somebody um, do this? Will they use her? Uh, would they use her? Excuse me. Would they use her? It's not funny. It's not funny. But would they use her? footage on the show to demonstrate that there may be some problems and this is all alleged like I said you do your own research I'm not going to even I'm not even on display because it's, it's going to hit the streets real soon if it hasn't already hit and the day is uh, 320 320 this is bug news please like share and subscribe thank you very much comment what do you think?